Okay. Hi, this is DOSBox Mom, and welcome back to Let's Play Tunnels and Trolls. There we go. Uh, Berengar at the Grip Iron Pass instructed us to go bring word that Valdemartin had fallen to people at Castle Overkill. And he said basically just follow the Great Escarpment west. So we f this is the far eastern end of the Great Escarpment that's a little ways north of the road. And we're just going to follow it west. Okay. And get back on our horse now. Excuse me. And it's the Kazan Pass area. Okay, I bet that's Castle Overkill there. Okay, let's save the game before we try this because I am not at all sure that we're ready for it, but it's worth a try. Okay. Well, let's hope we can find the people that Berengar wanted us to find. Looming before you is an ancient fortress. For untold years, it has commanded the northern end of the Kazan Pass. There are stories told of the hundreds of assaults that it is repulsed. In whispered voices, they call this castle Overkill. Castle Overkill is controlled by the barbarian General Shang. Loved by Leotra for his cruelty, Shang is used to ro roaming at will, wreaking havoc over a wide front. Castle life is beginning to wear thin for Shang, which does nothing to improve his temper. But castle fever is the least of Shang's worries right now, for as you approach <coughs> the castle, you can't help but notice a rather large force laying siege. The commander of the siege and army is the mad <coughs> wizard Marion Arsis. Before you can approach it any closer, you are surrounded by a large force of warriors and zombies. You are led to a large black tent. A large, well-muscled man with flaming red hair motions you inside the tent. Marion Arsis nods his head toward the big man and says, You may leave us, Rex. Rex gives you one last dubious look and shaking his head and rolling his eyes, leaves. Okay. Marion Arsis stares out at you from under his purple wizard's hood. I have need of mercenaries and I reward well, he tells you. There's a secret entrance to the castle that only I am aware of. You will use that entrance to enter the castle and assassinate the barbarian leader Shang. I'll pay you 7,111 gold pieces. You can, of course, refuse, but you've seen the nature of my force. You will serve me one way or another. Oh, gee. You can accept the mission or attack Marin Arsis and hope to kill him before he can summon help. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if we can defeat him, so I think we'll try accepting the mission for now. I thought you'd see it my way. Marian Arsis claps you on the shoulder and calls back in the guards. Marian Arsis gives you directions to the secret passage. 
placed beneath the castle's wall by the mad architect Ardrop when the castle was originally constructed. Uh, there is a lot of madness associated with Castle Overkill. Mary Nars is tearfully wishes you good luck and tells your escort to kill you if you show signs of wavering. Lucky for you, you really want those 7,111 gold pieces. After a few false starts, you finally find the secret passageway and start down it. And if this doesn't work, we've got a save game from just before we run into this guy. After climbing up a narrow and rustling area, you emerge to a trap door to find yourself within a narrow passageway. Side, Castle Overkill. So this is the guard just outside the passage. And of course, we hadn't changed weapons yet, so Magnus doesn't have a melee weapon. And yeah, he doesn't have anything he can really attack with. Let's try pushing. Okay. And let's see if our favorite spell... Good! Okay. Well, let's... have those people with crossbows equip some more quarrels if we've got any okay we'll have Arwen give some of her arrows Sinead remove the crossbow and hopefully equip Eagle's bow and equip the arrows and then let's figure out what Yoda's going to use Perhaps the Warhammer and the Target Shield. So I don't think he has the dexterity to use a Chakram. Not really. So we'll just have to have him bash away with his melee weapon. And we will save this under a different save position. I don't want to use save position one until we're safely out of this castle again. So let's look up our map of Castle Overkill. And hope we haven't gotten into a heap of trouble here. So we're both supposed to assassinate General Shang. I hope this is something to do with what Berengar wanted us to do. Hmm. Okay, so we are... about H6. Let's 
an area we're not supposed to enter to our cell. Now I don't want to leave Castle Overkill yet. Ooh, there was a secret door. Okay, let's see if we can unlock. So how are we supposed to get through that? Hmm, not sure. Well, ooh, you find yourself peering into the throne room of Castle Overkill. Huge tapestries cover all the walls, depicting the long, bloody past of the castle. Banners trail from the vaulted ceiling, and grisly trophies line the tops of the walls. I think I do have some hints on one of these pages on what to do at Castle Overkill. Yeah. Oh. I could have got a zombie's being talisman from farm point on the way here, but I missed that. Okay. Yeah, we need to go into this room. At the north end is a large throne carved from red marble. On each side of the throne are huge mirrors. Their frames carved with arcane symbols. The room is filled with guards, and two especially large ones command the main entry at the south end of the room. At the center of the room is an enormous barbarian chieftain conferring with three of his lieutenants over a large map spread upon the floor. This is the dreaded Shang, commander of Leotra's southern death host. His black hair is pulled into a top knot held in place by a human vertebra. His breastplate is adorned with a human rib cage, filigreed with darkened silver, and his cape is fastened by a skeletal hand. The bones <coughs> of small animals are entwined in his long, drooping mustache. A great sword with a silver rat skull pommel is sheathed at his side, and a large chris, I think that's the kind of knife, is shoved through a belt from which dangle three rotting skulls. Oh, joy. You find yourself standing behind a large set of tapestries. You find a break between two of the tapestries and sneak a peek. You note that you're directly across from Shang and his lieutenants. There are no guards between you and Shang. You could ambush the four with very little trouble, do you? Sure. You burst from behind the tapestries and are upon Shang and his lieutenants. They barely have time to draw their weapons and fall back before your onslaught. So let's hope we can get through this. Okay, so the swordsman, which is here, that's probably General Shang, and then those half orcs would be his guards. 
So let's shoot. And Yoda will attack. Okay, so we took out Shang. And Sinead will shoot. And the nice thing about Eggle's bow is that it never misses. And then hopefully the half orcs are vulnerable to oh go away. Although I suspect General Shang probably would have been resistant to it. Cool. That was easy. As Shang breathes his last, there's a commotion from outside the throne room. Zombies burst into the room and begin slaughtering all within. This is why I needed to get the zombie's bane talisman, which I don't have. Great. Okay, well, let's... Okay. Now let's go one, two, about over there. And we'll have her shoot. And I don't know if Oh Go Away will work against zombies. If this goes horribly wrong, we may have to restart this section from before we ran into Mario Narcissus and find that farm boy. Oh! Okay. So well, apparently Oh Go Away does work against zombies. As the last of the half-orcs falls beneath the zombie onslaught, the necromancer Marian Arsus strides into the throne room, his purple robe swirling around him. The zombies fall back away from you as Marian Arsus approaches. He kicks the fallen form of Shang disdainfully. So, he cackles, you've slain the barbarian pig. Such a valuable service must not go unrewarded. Tarry here and I will return with gold. Having said this, Marionarsis walks over to the mirror to the right of the throne and without breaking stride, passes through its plane and disappears. A short time passes when suddenly there's a disturbance behind the tapestries on the east wall. The tapestries are jerked aside and Marionarsis staggers into the room. In his left hand, he clutches a crystal skull. He's making odd gibbering noises. He catches sight of you and points at you accusingly. His face goes through a number of contortions, and when he finally speaks, his voice is not his own. Fools, he shouts in a strangely feminine voice. You have inconvenienced me greatly with the death of General Shang. You shall pay dearly. Zombies about you stir. The main entrance is blocked by zombies, but there is cl a clear path to the mirror through which Marian Arsus passed. <coughs> Do you make a dash for the mirror or attack Marian Arsus? Um, this one hint suggests we attack him first. I hope to goodness we can kill him. Oh, grief. Okay, let's... That was not good. Okay. Let's try. Oh, go away. And 
and we'll have Yeah, I don't think I have any funny ones, Jim, so this might be a situation where I'm going to have to restart from before I enter the castle and find some more stuff. Okay. Another oh, go away. A lot of cool stuff, but I don't know it was if it was worth losing Yoda over. Yeah, a lot of these things I think would probably be useful to another wizard, so... Okay... A number of human warriors wearing the colors of Mari Narsis burst into the room. The leader of the group, a large man with flaming red hair by the name of Rex Swordmaster, strides over to the still form of Mari Narsis and prods it with the toe of his boot. A visible look of relief passes over his face and he grins at you. You seem to have saved us the trouble of killing this madman, he kills you. After giving a number of terse orders concerning his the securing of the castle, Rex turns his attention back to you. He thanks you again for the great service you have rendered. He explains that they have no treasure to reward you, but he tells you there's a minor treasure room on this level of the castle. He gestures toward the large mirror to the right of the throne and tells you that that it's in reality a secret entrance to the part of the castle rumored to contain the treasure room. He wishes you the best of luck, then turns and strides out of the throne room. Well, I think we're going to have to redo this whole thing because we've got to find a way to survive this without getting any of our characters killed. Either that or I'll find a funny one, Jim. So we're going to reload and I think we'll try to find that farm boy with the zombies being talisman and we will try this castle again in the next episode so we'll see you then